Well, howdy folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2003. It is time for the Las Vegas 400, the nighttime one and a half mile event. We just won freaking Richmond, that's great, right? We're moving forward. We got Talladega, Infineon Raceway, Martinsville. That's your upcoming forward races, and after that, it gets even more interesting. Of course, you got Lowe's Motor Speedway, good one and a half mile action there. Uh, you got Rockingham. Texas Roval, Thursday race there. Later that weekend, guess what? Big Sunday, 500-mile event. And we're going to cap off the season at the California 500. Ten races to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I thought it was ten. It's nine races. Um, look at the championship update here. Jarrett, 88 car, 88 points back. Ironically enough, 39 points back for us. Yeah, a little bit of an inside joke there for the Darlings Cup Series fans with the 39 Burton throwback. But Jeff Gordon is still your points leader. And think about it, six Winston Cup championships for him. The 02 champ for Mark Martin. Jeff Burton, the 04 champ. And Dale Jarrett, the 1999 champion. So, we're all going for it. Rusty Wallace gained some crucial points here. But guys, it, I, it is time to say it. We're eliminating two Drivers from 2007 Winston Cup Championship contention. Sterling Marlin is officially eliminated. Jimmy Johnson is officially eliminated. So now, they're done. They're gone. They're not going to win this freaking championship. So the shift focused to Dale Earnhardt Jr. Can he keep the pressure on and start to gain some points like Rusty Walsh just did at Richmond? So, one of these six drivers is going to win this championship, guys. So, get ready for it. But for us, this is a true test. We have to go to Vegas, and we have to finish a top 10. We're not going to win this race, I don't think. But can we can we stay competitive tonight and find a way to get out of Las Vegas with a decent points total? Let's go. Alrighty, folks. We are on the pole for the Las Vegas night race. I've been working on this setup. And I'm telling you what, I know I say this every single time I go to Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We're always trying something, right? Well, I found something new. I found something new, and I, I tell you what, it's really, really cool. Is this going to correct the off-corner throttle discrepancy? I have no clue, but we're going to try it. Look, our goal is not to win this race. It's not even a top five. It is to lead one lap and finish in the top ten, because we have to get away from Vegas with a top ten. We can't afford to be losing 100 points or something, having a beat-up race car. So without further ado, let's go ahead and sit it down trackside for the Vegas 400. NASCAR Winston Cup Racing from the desert, live from the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, brought to you by MRN. What kind of things should we look for in this one, Barney? Well, the good thing about the tracks like this, there's plenty of room out there to avoid accidents. I look for these guys to have a pretty clean run, and we probably won't see the big one that we talk about at some of the other tracks. Jeff Burton seems to always finish in the top ten. Man, he is amazing, and what a boost towards the championship that gives him. You don't even need that many wins if you're finishing in the top ten every week. Bill Elliott owned and drove for his own race team for six years before joining Ray Evernham in 2001. You know, driving for your own race team is a tough deal. I think Bill was happy to get back to worrying about one thing, being fast out there on the racetrack. Terry Labonte must have had problems in qualifying this week. Yeah, he was due for one of these bad starts, though. Nobody can start up front all year. You're going to have a bad qualifying run now and then. Here we go, folks. Engines are fired. It's Sterling Marlin, who just got eliminated from championship. Realistic condition. But we're still well in the hunt for the 07 Winston Cup. We're on pole. This is easily our worst racetrack. Now, we generally run better at the night race than the day race. But we have to find a way. We have to find a way to lead one lap and finish in the top ten. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's all I need is just lead one freaking lap and get a top 10. Easy, right? Let's see about that. Here we go. We try to experimental setup. This thing is packing a lot of horsepower. And I'm hoping 
this will help correct the speeds and we'll have a decent, decent shot at this race. Look, I don't think we're going to win this thing, but dang it, I just want to have a top 10. That's all I need. Top 10, guys. The one thing I have to remember, you have to let out the throttle here in 1 and 2. You, you, you can't survive not letting off the throttle here. But the biggest issue about Las Vegas Motor Speedway is the AI off the freaking corner. They get so much speed off the corner. I tell you, they just outrun you. Right? They just outrun you off the corner. And you have to pretty much get ahead of them and see, like, right there. Right there. No matter what you do, they get a huge run off the corner. That is the hardest thing about Vegas is we're going to make contact with Rusty. Or not Rusty. Excuse me. Sterling Martin. Sorry, buddy. Look, I need to leave this freaking lap. I'm sorry. Contact made. But dang it. I want this lap led. There we go. I said it was ten races to go. I counted it was nine. So... Uh, my mistake there, but nine to go, nonetheless. The championship hunt is well underway here. Jeff Gordon, the man, the myth, the legend, the cat, we need to find a way to stay in front of. And quite frankly, I don't want him leading a lap. Um, I think making contact with Sterling Martin was a bad idea, and I, I didn't do it, like, super intentionally trying to take him out, but if we would have kept Martin up here, and Gordon passes us, at least we have Marlin that could potentially lead the rest of this race. Now I'm going to try to cook the car a little bit. I'm going to try to push it and see what we can get out of this thing. Come on now. Holy cow. This thing's fast, but it, it's not race winning fast. I don't know. We'll have to see how the tire wear goes. Uh, generally, the AI has much better tires than you here at Vegas, but certainly this is a much better race car than what I'm accustomed to here at Vegas. Now the goal here, just have a just try to get a top ten tonight. That's literally all we need. If we can get if we can get out of Vegas with a top ten and move on to the other tracks, I'm telling you, man, it would be monumental for our championship chase uh, chances. Because think about it, guys, we still have three three wild card races within the last nine events. We have Infineon, we have Talladega, and we have a Texas Roval. Think about that. Three wild card opportunities as we screw up one and two there. Mark Martin takes second place away from Jeff Gordon Championship. Contenders duking it out here under the lights in Nevada. But think about that, guys. Three wild card races, three more opportunities for someone outside of the, the normal box, so to speak, to get a huge Winston Cup win. And with that, what does that also present? It also presents an opportunity to lose points, especially the physical racing at the Roval. Think about it. That's going to be the first ever time we're going to run the Texas Roval with the increased AI uh, mistakes and the cautions. So essentially, that race could be an absolute. It could be a disaster for us, right? If we get if we pit, we get hit by that caution there. We get taken out in the wreck. You never know. But what I do know is we're leading laps. And if we can get to lap 14, if we can lead to lap 14 here, we would pretty much lock, if not guarantee, the most laps led tonight at Vegas. Think about that, guys. Again, the goal is not to win this race. I just don't think we're going to have that race car to do so. The goal is to lead as many laps and to get a top 10. We led that first lap. That's five bonus points. That's what we came for, right? But I want to lead as many laps as possible because I want to keep those most laps led away from Jeff Gordon. We've led, what, seven laps here so far? So there's still a great chance for one of them to get the most laps led. And as our right front begins to wear here, Jeff Gordon is going to pick up track time here. And we've got a Stanley Steamer down here. Let's see, down here in one and two, who, or excuse me, three and four. Let's, I'm not sure who it is. It is oh, Sterling Marlin. Oh, no. Tough luck for him. The Ganassi 40 Dodge Intrepid. Uh, well, we already eliminated from championship contention he is. So this doesn't really do him anything in the points. But it's going to... Anything... You know, any slimmer chance he had. Which I, I don't think he did. But an um, absolute Hail Mary 99-yard touchdown pass. Well, guess what? That It's taken away now. So... 
It's official, official, official. Marlon is not going to win the 07 Winston Cup. The 03 champ will not be a two-time cup champion. And think about it. Go to last year when we had the finale at Fontana. Sterling Marlon came into that race with the points lead. And Jeff Gordon dominated, led the most laps, walk-off win at Fontana, and won the championship away from Sterling Marlin. But meanwhile, Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon are going at it. I mean, no, neither of these cats have led a lap here, guys. Think about that. And pit stops are underway. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep them from leading a lap. But knowing Jeff Gordon and knowing his driving style, you know, we've played six seasons of this, guys. He loves to pit late. Gordon loves to pit late. So we need to pit with Jeff Gordon because if we pit early, he's going to pick up that five bonus points for leading a lap. But I gotta say, guys, I'm unbelievably proud about this race team here. Think about it. We've led, we, we've ran 12 laps, and we're still out front. We didn't leave every lap because Marlon was up here. We just got super loose there. So Gordon has pitted here. That's great. That's freaking great. So Gordon pits here. Or we're good on fuel, roughly. I didn't have even looked at the fuel mileage. Truth be told, we could probably run this thing to lap 17 if we really wanted to, but I don't want to do that. But right now, maybe lap 16, not 17. But we got a hard charge in Mark Martin right here. I'm trying to keep that cat behind me as our tires are roached, bro. They are bald and they are freaking red right now. And uh, I, it's only a matter of time for the six car our teammate gets around us so that's another lap there we go that's another lap led and this pretty well in my opinion at least is going to guarantee us the most laps led tonight i just don't see mark martin or jeff gordon with the pit sink which leading 13 consecutive laps here now is he gonna pit here i want tires at the end of this race and here comes dale jared as well so mark martin's not pitting yet i'm pitting late I love this idea. Pit late. Stay out. Pit late. There we go. So we're getting very tight on fuel. I think we're going to pit this time, but this guarantees us the most laps left. This is Winston Cup points racing, guys. This is why I said when it gets to down 10 races to go, the entire mindset of all the championship drivers change. It's all about three points, four points, five points. What are they going to do? Are they pitting? They're, they're staying out. I'm staying out. Well, we should be able to make it to... Well, we can make it this lap here. We can make it. I'm staying out. There we go. There we go. Now we're officially official. Unfortunately, we're going to surrender the lead here. That's okay, though. We led the most laps left. Ooh, hello, Mark Martin. Look, buddy, we need to get the pit road together. I have to pit this time. I don't have a choice. But we stayed out. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, no. Please tell me you don't have damage on the back end of this car. I got to pit here. Got to pit. No speeding. No speeding. No speeding. Fuel tank empty perfectly. Perfectly timed there. Now we have a little damage at the back end here. Oh, God. We got to repair that. We can't We can't not have any damage here, guys. Keep the tire pressure where it is. I, I'm going to have to repair the damage here, guys. I'm hoping it's just like two tenths of a second, you know what I'm saying? Because think about it, we're going to have better tires than everyone on the track right now. I'm talking everyone. We're going to have the best good years in the field because we went to the absolute basement on the fuel mileage. Now I'm going to repair the damage because Jar Jarrett hit the back end of the car. Let me tell you something, guys. Any contact to the back end of that car is so sensitive. And you might be thinking, oh, it's a video game. It's not. No, I'm kidding you not. In the old school NASCAR games, any damage to that back end of that car will significantly decrease your straight line speed. Look at that. 16.9 second pit stop. You know, look. We came out in front of Jarrett. You see what I'm saying? We got the car repaired. We even got a little bit of side damage repaired. But now... The, the guys in front of us are going to have worse tires. Again, the goal is not to win the race. Because I, truth be told, I don't think we're going to win this thing. But what I'm hoping, and I'm hoping and praying for here, is that we'll be able to find a way to get a top 10 run tonight. To be able to survive and advance as a top 10 driver. 
We led the most laps tonight, so that is just... I cannot tell you how how big that is for a season. Look, I, I need this inside. Oh, God, I'm sorry, Jared. Oh, no, that was stupid. That was really stupid. Keep digging. <laughs> Keep digging. Go, 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 go. Now, do we have the offense in this car to get through the pack here? We have, I mean, the best tires in the field here. And I'm glad we repaired the car while we did. We're seventh place here. Your race leader is Jeff Gordon. He can only get five bonus points. He cannot get the 10 because we led the most laps. So we essentially shut him out from getting the most laps led. And most people might be thinking that's just five points. You know, you could find that underneath a napkin out of a diner. But guess what? Every point is going to matter when he gets down to Fontana for this 07 Winston Cup Championship. And the way I look at it, that's one less car we have to pass. You know, five points, that's one less car we have to pass. And when you start doing that, like, when you start getting those bonus points, for the newer cat out there, bonus points, they're very similar to how stage points are nowadays. Because they're extra points you earn. They're the same, they're the same points, right, as, as your finishing, finishing position, but they accumulate as the season goes on. So when you get, let's say you have 50 bonus points, get out of my way, Steve Park. Look, I respect you, buddy, but please, for the love of God, get out of my way. But if, you, let's say you accumulate 40 bonus points throughout the season, and you have a DNF, well, guess what? That, that's 40 points you don't have to worry about. Underneath Steve Park for fifth place here. There we go. Jeff Gordon's checked out. Five laps to go. He's probably going to win this race. But I, I tell you what, though. We did what we needed to do. We just got to survive this event. I would love to see a caution real quick. We did what we needed to do, guys. We led the most laps. He qualified on pole. We took care of the car as best as we could. And we put ourselves in a, 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 I would say, an offense position. We weren't, we weren't having to play defense. You know, so many times when we go to Las Vegas Motor Speedway, we're playing defense. We're trying to catch up. We were playing from the front. And now we get to be able to play the offense instead of playing defense. And I tell you what, man, look at our car. It is so much faster than everyone because we have those fresh good years. We stayed out as long as possible. I mean, we literally ran out entering pit road here. <gasps> Matt Kenseth hard in the wall there. Wow, that was that was crazy. So Kenseth pancakes the fence there. He he literally just there. Uh, what is it? Um, what they call it? Parallel park, something like that. He parallel parked in the wall there. That's what I'm gonna call it. So he's out of the way. Valet parking, if you will at, what, 170 miles per hour. Ryan Newman's ahead of us. I think we can catch Newman before the end of this event here, guys. So let's try to run him down here if we can. Jeff Gordon's pretty much got the race locked up here. Caution would end the race. Our tires are starting to wear here. Of course, our tires were red at the end of this race, or at the end of the first half of this race. But I tell you what, though. Monumental race here, guys. I mean, this is, this is the event that I was... Kind of have circled on your calendar that you could lose a lot of points here. And to show up and be able to have a dominating performance, we're not going to win the race. Again, that's not the goal. The goal is not to win the race. If I could win it, that'd be great. But the goal is to play offense, get as much points as possible. Bonus points. I mean, I'm telling you, bonus points are such a critical aspect to a championship season. And our right front's wearing out. Coming to the white flag here tonight at the Las Vegas 400. Ryan Newman's right there. That's five points right there if we can get it. Have to really sail it on here. Come on, come on, come on. Got a little bit of a run. Got a little bit of a run. Oh, it's going to take a lot here. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Come on, car. Come on, get this bumper. Move him. Move him. There we go. Move him. I need the points, buddy. He's already got damage. I'm getting around you. I need the points. That's five points right there. That's five points right there. We needed that. So Jeff Gordon holds off Mark Martin, wins the Las Vegas 400. 
and gained enough time under that pit sequence. But guess what? The, our goal was not to win this race. It was to get the most points that we could get. Wow. So, um, I tell you what, man. From a strategy perspective, this couldn't have gone better, really. I mean, think about it. We qualified first. We led 14 laps tonight. And think about this, guys. Look at this. If we would have surrendered the lead to Mark Martin or Jeff Gordon prematurely, let's say we got nine laps led. Jeff Gordon gets the max points today. So that's five points we stole from Gordon there because he had a car to dominate the entire race. And we also took fourth or third place from Ryan Newman. I didn't want to move him out of the way, but truth be told, he's out of championship attention. He's already got a damaged race car. What more is a back bumper, you know, going to mean to it? I needed to move him out of the way. I didn't dump him into the fence. I just moved him out of the way. No harm, no foul. So we, let, let's look at it. So you got 180 points for him. Right, 180 points for Jeff Gordon, 175 for us, and get this, Mark Martin doesn't lead a lap either. So 170 for him. So we got more points than Mark Martin, and we only lost five points to Jeff Gordon. I tell you what, man, I, I can't believe it. That that is a amazing finish to it. And the the uh, the Dale Jarrett comparison, we gained 20 points on freaking Jarrett. Believe it or not, that is crazy. Another back-to-back -back top 10 for Wimmer. Great run for Jeff Purvis, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Borderline on the championship. Uh, Wallace got to pick up some more points on that bud to keep it keep it going. But uh, a run through the rest of the field here. Only six cars at, uh, before uh, Vegas. Uh, math, math, not mathematically, but realistically alive in championship contention. Uh, your bottom of the barrel tonight, Sterling Marlin qualifying on the outside. Wow. Front row, cat, only nine laps, even led a lap. And, uh, well, guess what? He was out prematurely, and uh, that guarantees him absolutely his season is done. Anyways, folks, thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, hit that notification bell down below. Upload these videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Diecast Buffet. Uh, you can tune in for some more NASCAR Thunder 2003 action. And with all that being said, folks, hope you have a great one. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay humble. What a freaking finish there at Vegas. Strategy, 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 guys. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.